Welcome back to the Connect Network TV on the CW. Your girl Stitch is here with my gal pal, Sandy Glenn. And today, Sandy is about taking charge and transformation. And right now, we are tossing things over to Amanda Waters, our Instagram sensation. That's right, Stitch. She is sitting down with two special guests that are joining us from Austin PSI. Today, they are sharing on how they wrote their own stories with cosmetic surgery. What do you have for us today, Amanda? And that's right, Sandy and Stitches. This is such an amazing story. Please, please help us welcome operations manager, Christine Powell. And with her is Meredith Hudson, an online fitness coach. Woo, we all need that in our lives. I can't wait to get more into your stories, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us today, ladies. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you. How are y'all doing this morning? Doing well. How are you? I am good, good. I just need all the coffee in the world. <laughs> <laughs> We're all pretty okay. Yeah. Well, we always love having you back. So welcome back to the show, Christine. You, ha you have joined us several times and you are a really, really good friend to the show at this point, right? But for those of you who do not know Christine, can you tell us a little bit more about Austin PSI and the work that you guys do there? Yeah, so I work at Austin Plastic Surgery Institute with Dr. Booth. We have a medical spa and we have Dr. Hayden and Dr. Booth and we're just a well-rounded uh, full surgery practice. Um, with injectables and facials and anything you need in between. <laughs> awesome. You had me at injectables, girl. <laughs> and the interesting thing about, um, you know, you guys' story is um, you underwent an extreme weight loss journey, right? Before um, becoming an employee. Tell us a little bit about that journey. Yeah. So I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's when I was about 23 and I gained weight from like 23 to 33. And it was a, roughly like I have gained 100 pounds and I lost 100 pounds. And then I gained it and I lost it. And then I finally got to a place where my Hashimoto's, my disease just kind of took over. And um, once I was able to finally uh, maintain a weight loss and like get to where I wanted to be is when I found Dr. Booth. Yeah. Wow. So that was like the best timing ever. <laughs> 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 I I'm there with you on the Hashimoto's. I, I actually have that as well. I didn't find out till after having kids that I had that. So um, that's crazy that you were so young and, um, you know, you had no idea what was going on. You know, it was like, what's happening? You know, you just felt so out of out of sorts, I bet. Um, and I'm so glad that you found Dr. Booth. And um, Meredith, I understand that you are an online coach, right? Yeah. And you also went to Austin Plastic Surgery for an extreme makeover of your own. Um, tell us, how did you decide to make that jump? So, well, I lost about 120 pounds. And when I lost my weight, I had kind of limited loose skin, I felt like. And I, for two years, I maintained my weight. I thought, oh, okay, um, this is something I can live with. And I kind of noticed that I felt like it was almost impossible to live with the longer that time went on. I was constantly hiding my body. I felt like I was working out. I was doing everything I needed to do, but I still felt, you know, that I was still in my 256 pound body <laughs> Yes. <laughs> instead of like, you know, this body that I worked so hard for. And so I was sitting there. I had a discussion with my dad, actually, and my dad was like, just do it. Just make that decision. It's going to make you so happy. And I think having that come from my dad, it really just kind of made me, you know, say, you know what? You're right. Life is way too short. Like, let me go ahead and make this decision for me. And so I actually knew um, or have a friend of mine who's also an online coach that went to Dr. Booth and her results were insane. <laughs> and so um, Dr. Booth was my first person that I actually had a consultation with. And I had two more other consultations booked with other doctors on like Houston and so forth. And after I met Dr. Booth, I knew right in there. Oh yeah. This is, <laughs> this is the guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So then you felt like you were immediately connected and you had a connection with him. So that is also important. Um, and finding somebody that you trust with your, your body, you know? Yes. So let me ask you this then as a fitness coach, did you happen to face any backlash for visiting plastic surgeons? And what do you tell other women in fitness? Yes, I, I definitely did. And, and it, that's really difficult 
But the thing is, it's like, I think no matter what route you take, whether you get your loose game removed or you, you don't, you're going to get some kind of hate, especially being, you know, an influencer on top of that. People just really like making comments about other people's bodies, yeah. especially women. <laughs> and so I think at the end of the day, I've always been one, even before my journey, that's, you know, made decisions solely based off of what I want. And so, um, you know, the comments hurt for a second there, but basically just the pros that came with getting this done and how life-changing it's been for me and my happiness um, is big. And so I kind of handle it. I just brush it off and like as if I don't even see it. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. And it takes so much to get to that point where you just do not care, yeah. right? And it's like, whatever is going to make me happy and feel confident, like, you know, you just have to do it. It's It's amazing. It's so much more love, I would say though. Like I would say that like, based off of, you know, just like kind of the response to it, it was definitely 95% positive, uplifting women, supporting women, which is everything that, you know, we want to see. And then the other 5% of, is, of course, people who um, have something negative to say about it, for sure. Oh, my goodness. I know we can't please them all. And it would <laughs> be exhausting if we try. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but today's show, you know, it's, it's about stepping into the new year like a boss, okay? And it's important to write your own stories with that. So you, Christine, our, our good friend, Christine, I always love finding out information from you. Um, but for those of you that are curious, what is the connection between weight loss and surgery when and when is surgery necessary? You know, when do you when do you say surgery is necessary? So we always want you to be able to maintain a weight, but the correlation between the two is that I only was able to get myself to a certain point. So with my 90, 90 pound, 95 pound weight loss, I still had loose skin. I had skin laxity. My breasts were lower than I would like them to be. Um, my stomach needed to be tightened. My arms needed to be done. And no matter how much I was in the gym, no, how, like, no matter how my BMI, lower my BMI got, that my skin just didn't retract. And I, you can try every cream, every lotion, everything that you, like more collagen, everything you could possibly do. And I, I just got to the point where like I would put on jeans and then I would still have a mm -hmm. muffin top yeah. or, or I would try to get on a cute dress and like my breast would be like, I needed all the tape in the world. <laughs> and so... The correlation is like we were Meredith and I got us to a certain point to mm -hmm. where we could be in a position where we could have surgery. And so that's when we found all well, I found Dr. Bruce and then she found us shortly later. And yes, my um, goodness. and so it kind of just depends on what you need and, and what surgery can bring to the table for you. So for me, Dr. Booth did a full body reconstructive surgery. So he tightened my arms. I had a brachioplasty, a mini brachioplasty. I had 360 lipo, full upper body. And that was just because no matter how much I was losing, I kind of saw these fat pockets, um, even though I was like a size four. And then um, he did body tight all over my body. And then um, he also did a new thing called Ovali, which is kind of cellulite reduction, which I really, really liked on my lower back. Okay. Well, thank you so much for telling me about all that information and telling us about all that information. I, I want to get back with you on all those names. And to do that, to keep in contact with you guys, because I definitely want to. I mean, Christine, I ask you questions all the time. Um, but can you both drop your handles for all of our viewers to follow your journey and how we can get in touch with Dr. Booth, please? Yeah, of course. So mine is Christine ATX or Christine underscore ATX, and then it's at Dr. Booth Plastic Surgery. Uh, and mine is at Get Fit With Mayor, and it's M E R underscore. Amazing. And to all of our viewers, cheers to 2024. And of course, keep up with me at the Amanda Waters on Insta. Sandy and Stitches, back to you guys. Wow, that was an amazing story. Thanks for sharing, Amanda. And that is all the time we have today, but we want to send a huge thank you to all of our amazing special guests this year from 2023, everyone who stopped by and who is now officially a part of iConnect Fam. And to you, our Connect Fam, for watching. Thank you for spending your mornings with us. It is not lost and it is not taken for granted. Thank you.
That's right, Stitch. And if you are ready to transform your business and brand through the power of media, head over to the Connect Network TV to be our guest. Happy New Year to you all. Wendy will be back next time. And remember, you are the writer of your own destiny. We'll see you in 2024. Love you for free. Tell somebody you love them too. Don't, you know what? That's a good thing. Don't enter into 2024 without telling somebody you love them. Start off with that. Tell somebody you love them. Love you for free, Sandy. Love you for free. <laughs>